so now I'm going to show you the electrical connection. Have it. Here you're looking at the ports. Starting from left to right, on the left side, you'll find the communication board that facilitates closed loop communication between the MV and our Fortress power batteries. This board also allows for easy plug and play integration with our eFlex and Evil Max products and enables the connection of current transformer CTs, which are included with the package. The CTs have a length of 15 feet, but can be extended up to 300 feet using a female to female eight pin ethernet adapter. Moving on, we have the paralleling ports, which come in handy when installing multiple inverters, as well as a USB port that allows for easy updates of the inverter's LCD screen for added functionalities in the future. If the inverter is connected to the internet, updates can be done remotely. Below that, you'll find the generator two wire starter ports, which automatically initiate the generator once the battery state of charge is met. On the right hand side, you'll find the battery breakers, which are rated both for 200 amps and allow for the connection of two Evil Max batteries without the need of a battery combining bus bar. Moving on, we have the generator port, which is rated for 90 amps and serves as the AC coupling port as well. The cable gauge you'd use could range anywhere from number four to number two, assuming utilization of the 21 KW through the port. Next up, the load and grip ports, which can support a 200 amp pass through for ease of installation. Keep in mind that the MV is a true 12 kilowatt inverter that can support 12 kilowatts on the battery charge and discharge, 12 kilowatts exporting or 12 kilowatts to support the loads. And we recommend adding a load management center if these loads exceed this number. The wiring used for the load side should be 2 watt, whereas the grid side can be more flexible since this inverter can also provide whole home backup to the main service panel of 100 amps, which is probably the average size of homes in Hawaii and Puerto Rico. And finally, due to the modularity of our product, we recommend the installers to add a disconnect in both the generator and grid ports to comply with your local jurisdictions.